are you ready to take your video editing skill from this to this level just by using the free CapCut version whether you are using the CapCut oh, version on mobile the web browsing or the desktop mastering these essential steps will help you create stunning professional videos hey guys welcome back again i know you really want this information and i know a lot of you guys have been sending me messages to make videos on how to edit on CapCut. so today i decided to make use of this opportunity to show you how you can edit professional videos just by using the free CapCut app without having to pay for the pro before we go forward i want to let you know that we have three versions of CapCut. Right? number one we have the mobile version of CapCut, which is very very popular and most people use it to edit their videos number two we have the web browser version that most people also use so number three is the very last one and the best one among all of them which i love to use and that is the one that i'm going to use to show you how you can edit professional videos just by using the free version so without any time wasting let's jump in straight to the video so now as you can see i am in the CapCut app right so all you need to do is to bring your videos from your desktop to your CapCut. so now i'll click on this one this is the next stage so now all i have to do is to click on the import when you click on this import i have it and then i import the video and then also open the video in the cap cut right so now the second thing that i want you to do is to drag your video to your timeline so when you drag the video to the timeline this is how it's going to show so the next thing that i want you to do the cap cut has this option for you to put a thumbnail at the beginning of your video so that when you post your video the first thing that people will see is what you want them to see so they have this option so you click on it and this is what it's gonna show you so this is what it's gonna show you so they have two options if you want you can import your thumbnail if you already have it or you can just use the video itself there is a way that you can also use the video to find the segment of the video right and then you use it so for me i'll just use this one so now i have my video in the timeline so the thing that i'm gonna do is to bring this video to light right which i'll use the magic to edit the color correction all right so first thing i should do my video right so use my keyboard to cut the video so that i'll have two sections of the video right so i'll just press command and b so that right now i have two sections of my video as you can see right i already have two sections but if you don't know how to do it this way you can also click on this side as you can also use the mouse to to separate the videos but if you don't know how to do if you don't know how to use your keyboard you can use this mouse to separate the video but that will take you a long time right so it's better for you to just learn the shortcut using the keyboard so now i have two sections of my video I'm gonna go ahead and do another one again so i have three now so the next thing that i will do is to click on this video so when you click on this section of the video it will show you it will give you this open when you click a segment of this video it will give you this open panel right so you can see video audio speed animation and adjustment and also the ai stylish right so all i want you to do is to click on this adjustment so when you click on this adjustment you will see all this thing basic hsl you know curves and color wheel mask right so these are all professional way of editing the videos if you know how to do it you can use this once more for now as for this video i will just show you the basic thing that you need to know so that it won't be difficult for you to edit your video so we click on the edit so we click on the basic so all i want you to do is to scroll down before we come to the color grading uh, i forgot to mention something so let me take you back google because i have to show you where you can get this loot right as you can see it's here loot if you don't have it it's not going to be on your uh, tiktok so you have to make sure that you get this outside of tiktok like um, google search so let me take you through and let's see how we can get this loot now as you can see this website fresh loot right all you need to do is to go on google and search for this fresh loot and then when you come here they will ask you for you to sign in or log in if you already have an account but the next thing that i want you to do is to go ahead and download any of this the search click on the search when you click on the search you will see all these loops right these are all 
look that you will use for your video so now let me click on this one example so take a look at before you download the video look at this side is before and then after they use the loop this is how it's gonna look like so if you used to use to edit pictures you definitely understand what i'm saying so you see how beautiful it is now so if i want to download this i'll just click on the download button it's gonna save to my computer right? so i don't want to download it because i already have it and as i said there are so many ones that you can download look at this one example like this you already see how it is and then you can also download this these are free you don't need to pay for these ones they are very free all you need to do is to download and save them in your phone so now let's go back to CapCut to see how we can use the color grade for this particular thing so now let's go back so after you download the load all you need to do is to come here all you need to do is to come and click on the adjust as you can see me doing it right you click on load and then you import right so when you import it's gonna be import it's gonna be on this side so let me say i have this right this is one of the loot so it's gonna show on this particular side right so now if i want to use this i would rather just drag it like this and put it on top of this timeline and then also expand it so that you know it will be for the video right on the video but i don't want to use this one i already have another one let me show you how you can do it professionally come on the side of the video so you come on the side and then you click the adjust and so then it will take you to this basic right all you need to do is to click on the adjustment so when you click on the adjustment you will see this basic and also the hsl and others right but these are professional editors you if you want to use these others and then you can still go ahead and use them but for me i'm just here to show you the basic because i already added the loot on my profile so all you need to do so now let me show you how you can add the loot video to change the magic in your video right so what you have to do is to come on the top right so all you need to do is to come on this side as you can see video audio speed ammunition adjustment but click on the adjustment and then you will see basic hsl as you can see it on my source this is just the basic information that I'm like, how, all i need you to do is to click on the basic you will do next is so for you to come down here and click on this loot right so when you click on the loot it show you some of these things that i already have also have different different ones i have a very special one that i love to use let me just show you guys around for me i like this one so i'll just use this one to show you guys this is how you will see it now look at this video and look at this what is the difference you see the great difference right so if you also want to turn the intensity down you can adjust it a little bit and you can also go ahead to adjust your video and adjust the video by using these ones as you can see on the exposure right i'll make sure that i use this exposure because i want my video to be very clear so i have to turn a little bit of the exposure the video will be very very bright okay and then also the contrast if you need you can turn it a little bit a bit of contrast then the next thing is the highlight so this highlight is to change the color of your face right so maybe the face can reduce as you guys can see the brightness of my face is reducing i love to put it like this at least a little bit darker and also we have the the shadow shadow also helps you to get a better quality of the video so all you need to do is turn this shadow up so that all these blacks will show a little bit better right or you can also turn it down because most time for me i love it to be down i don't like too much shadow for me i'll put it like this and then also go ahead and put this ones right i'll leave it like this just like how it is right now and also if you want you can adjust the temperature to this color or you go this way it all depends to you so i'll just leave it and then also the saturation if you want you can add you know, red or whatever color that you want it for me i'll just leave it like this and the next thing that i'm gonna do is to click on apply all so now as you can see my video and this is the perfect color that i want see how perfectly the color has changed right and there are different colors that you can use make more perfection on this video as i show you the websites where you get all those free loots you can just go there and download whichever one that you want right how your videos will turn from beginner to professional so now the next thing that we are going to do is to adjust our audio setting 
audio is one of the most important thing on a video because nobody loves to listen to an audio if you are watching a video and the sound is not coming well clearly how do you think you want to enjoy that video no you won't be able to watch that video so i'm encouraging you as a content creator you have to spend money for you to get the good equipment that you need especially when it comes to audio a video you can have a copy video people will still manage to watch it as long as they're getting the voice clearly and they are understanding what you are saying but when it comes to audio it's one of the key priorities that you need to consider as a content creator so now let's see how i can help you to adjust your audio set let me just show you something so click on this three dots and then you are able to resize the video instead of the third is put it to 100 to 60 so that you will see where the video has no voice right so that you can able to edit and trying to put this thing right so and all you need to do is to when you use command b to split the video this is how your, your video it will be very easy for you to identify these sections right now as you can see this section right so if i want to delete from here to here this is all what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna press q on my keyboard and it will adjust the video so let's take up the flop the reason why you need to edit your video like this most time when you sit in front of camera we made a lot of mistakes by already separated the video right so put the mouse like this and you click the cue in your mouse it already edited the video as you can see right now the space that we had before it is not there anymore so that is all you need to do simple is that so how simple is that now the space is not there anymore so you straight to the other video to continue the play right so you don't have to waste more time to use the if you do forget to use the keyboards if you don't know how to use the keyboard let me show you the easiest way that you can do it so when you click on the side it will show you split command b right you can see it to split the video or you click on the side it will show you left q is for left delete right so when you click on the side it will show you left q that means if you want to delete your video just like how we did it at first now if i want to delete this section of the video it will delete if i press this one q right and then you want to delete your video on the right side you can press w so if you press w on your mouse now the last portion that we need to talk about is command so that you can also delete your video instead of deleting all you have to do is if you want to delete this particular video is for you to put the mouse here and then you press command w so now if you want to delete the video like, like this if you want to delete this section so now i have this section so i have to create another section of this side as you can see we have separated the video be careful because if you do press q you are going to delete all this section right so the only side that we want to delete is on this side right so now all you need to do is to press w as you can see right the video already cut this is how you do it by using the keyboard or if you also do don't know how to use the keyboard you can press on the side and then as you see it already separated and then you go ahead and delete just like this right so these are the three things that you need to do the audio so cool thing that the tiktok app has is the, the transcript so now let me see if i click on this transcript it's gonna help me to identify so this is how it's gonna happen now as you can see it's loading after i click the video right so it's gonna give me a lot of transcript of the video and then i will able to edit the video the section that i don't want to go by highlighting and it's very long and you can use this trans all right so now the next chapter let me show you on how you can add b-roll b-roll are very important it all depends on the kind of videos that you're making if you're making a city videos like this and teaching people just like what i'm doing i don't actually think that you need b-rolls right normally people put b-rolls on their videos if you're doing vlogs or if you want to actually identify what you're saying let me say so now let me say if i mention about a camera i have to make sure that i show people so that people will understand what exactly that i'm talking about right so let me show you how we can add b-rolls so we go like this we import the video again let me say i have a video here so i'll just edit the same video again so i'll put this video in my timeline right so if i want to add something like b-roll i have this video in my timeline so if i do want to add something just as i said if i mention about a light or any other thing 
I'll just take the b-roll and put it on top, right? Now this picture is gonna be my b-roll, right? And b-roll is very important. You just go like this, you see this photo. So you just drag the photo on top of this video, right? When you drag this one, if you want the video, let me see, if you want the photo to go, as you can see, right? Uh, this is how the, the b-roll is gonna look like. To help you to aminate. So let me use the amination so that this video can get a better transition right so i'll go on this top you can see there are so many animation that you can use for me i'll like to use the in uh let me find one that i can use so, now let's see how the b-roll is gonna pop up uh, so do you guys see how the b-roll comes in right it's very easy and very simple you can just aminate it right and up here just like the way how it comes now we are going on the opposite it's now it's gonna show like this now you as you guys see so as you guys see how the video disappear right so that's how you can do this let me say if you want the transition to happen between this video to this right a very easy way for you to do it so if you raise this one like this, this is how the videos are going to show all these ones are going to shift back cover the side right but that is not what we want so let me show you the easy way that you can do it i'll go back so the easy way that you can do this is for you to click on this side right where it says turn off main tracking so when you turn off this one now if you can raise this video on top of this without these ones moving right as you see so all you need to do is to click on this transition add any of this transition there are so many transition that you can use here now we have the transition in between right so now let's move on to the next step again and drop it in between this and now we now we have our transition let's see how it's gonna turn like step is to create text for this video so let me show you how you can add text on CapCut. so click on text at the top right corner and then you click on default when you click on default it will show you this way right now you bring it like this right after you click on the default after you click on default you bring in your text like this but before we go there let me just change the font of this particular text right i also use the anton so i love to use the anton text let me see to use the anton so let me just write something let me just write my name as an example this is how you add text in your video it's very easy very simple if you want to make an amination so that this text can aminate the kind of text that you want to use how you want the text to appear on the screen you can go ahead and use any of these ones so for me i'll just use this as you already see it's already changed right that is how simple you can add text on your video so if you do want to generate let me see caption on your the next step is let me show you how you can add caption on your video so that when you're talking and then you will see this writing popping and sometimes people have to read the caption for them to understand so it's very easy and helpful for your viewers to be able to understand most of the thing that you're saying right so now let me show you how you can add it so now all you have to do is to go on the caption when you go on the caption on top of here as you can see they have different type of way they have different ammunition of nation of caption they have different ammunition of caption but for me i love this one so i'll go with this one so all i have to do now is to click generate when you click generate it will load and also when it's finished you will see all your caption and now you have to go ahead and do also place the caption where you want it to be you can add caption on your video it's very easy and very simple now we are going to the final step of this particular video as i said these are all basic edit skills that you need if you're just starting and edit your videos for yourself without having to ask anybody or pay anybody to do so so these are the basic settings so now let's go to the final one which is to add music very very important to add music on your background when you're using when you're doing this kind of video so that at least the people won't get bored getting bored watching your video at least if there's music on the background maybe that music will still keep them to watch the video so let me show you how you can add music but before i show you i just want to make this clear to you as we all know most of the time some of us will get copyright because of musics right so there are certain platforms that you can use certain songs but best advice i'll give you if you are not able to subscribe for epidemic songs or other platform that you can actually for youtube you can go on youtube channel library so that you can get free songs from there for you to use on your youtube videos 
sometimes some of those songs if you do take some of those songs out of the youtube library and post them on facebook or tiktok you will still get copyright so the best advice i'll give you if you want to use the song for vi for youtube videos it is fine and it is nice for you to do so without any Thing to fear about copyright so now let me show you how you can add as already have epidemic songs so i'll just need to upload one of the song to my cap cut, right so now you drag the song as you see you drag the song from here to here right you put it down on the timeline so let me play this part of the video so that you can listen in the other way before you do this you have to make sure that you reduce the song because if not volume if not the song might the song go you can do it like this right as you can see i'm already going down so for me i like to put it negative 20 right so let me see how i can go to negative 20 as you can see right now i'm on negative 20 or the second way that you can also reduce volume of the, the song you can go on this side as you can see at the top right here you can put it very low like this or if you want you can increase just like this right as you're saying right but for me as i said i, lo I love to put it negative 20 right? that's the best way i like it negative 20 leave it like this and then now if i play the song you can hear the song but it's not too loud right another thing again that i would like to share with you this is very important maybe you created your video outside and there is so much noise at the background so you can use this feature or you can also use this feature to suppress those noise so that you can only get the actual video sound itself so let me show you how you can do it so you can go on this normalize when you go on normalize loudness you click on this video so you go on audio when you go on audio you click on normalize so actually it will normalize the the, the, the video loudness right Normalize loudness it will process the video just like how you seen it here and then it will make the video to the normal voice right and also you can enhance the video when you enhance the video it also helps your video to get a very clear sound rather than just using the way how you recorded your video so you can enhance the voice and it will come out very loud and clear and also this one too is very important right as you can see it reduce noise when you click this one it will also help you to reduce the noise at the background so these are all future that you need to know so that you know when you're doing your editing you can edit as a pro so this is all that i have for you for today thank you so much for watching this video if you watch this far i want to say really really appreciate you and i hope this video makes sense to you and also you can check my channel so that you can get this video so that you can learn more things from Awuna Pepe. So, so you can also check this video so that you can learn more things from me. And also, I'll kindly advise you to click the like button and also follow this page so that you will get notified whenever I post a new video concerning YouTube or Facebook. So you can also leave me a comment in the comment section if you want me to help you with any ask. If you do want me to help you with anything, I will take my time and help you to, to see how best we can go together. So these are all the basic settings that you need to learn when it comes to using your desktop and I'll, I'll try my best to also show you guys the next one using my phone right how you can edit CapCut videos on the phone too for you to get perfect video thank you and have a wonderful day